Ace was one of those guys who always made fun of the guys on the high school golf team. A star basketball player and sprinter on the track team, Ace became hooked on the sport when he saw some buddies playing a variation of speed golf at the local Muni. Now he plays five days a week, keeps his clubs in the trunk of his car, and loves to rub it in the face of his competitors with a post-putt birdie dance. It's an end zone gloat in golf. Felicia was first introduced to golf through the Tiger Woods Foundation. Even at a young age, Felicia caught the attention of the golfing world. She quickly became a top-notch junior player and played her way into a golf scholarship at New York University, where she's currently lighting up the college circuit. Felicia's got her sights set high, hoping to turn pro after she graduates from college. Dominic finished second at the 2002 World Championships, just a stroke behind the winner in a heated battle. Soon after that tournament, however, that winner mysteriously disappeared and was never heard from again. Although it was never proven that Dominic was responsible, his opponents on the tour all seem to crumble down the stretch when he's in contention, fearing for their own safety and perhaps a pair of cement golf shoes. Known around the clubhouse as the solitary one, Solita Lopez is one tough golfer. After her adoption by a family of greenskeepers at Copperhead Canyon, Solita made the golf course her home. It's safe to say that she has one of the best short games around, and she also has an uncanny ability to spin the ball any way and anywhere she wants. Edwin is the reigning senior golf champion at the Black Rock Cove Retirement Home. These days he wets the bed fairly frequently, so he gets the morning tea times at Black Rock. But with a senior title came a free membership at the Princeville Resort, where he now spends most of his time making the staff's lives a living hell with his grumpy attitude and general distaste for life. Hamish McGregor grew up hitting a small leather pouch stuffed with gannet feathers around the shores of the Firth of Tay with a shepherd's crook. One day a travelling English golf pro saw him, thought his swing was promising and encouraged him to come to England and master the game. Hamish has become quite a player, but keep a close eye on his scorecard. He's pretty good with a pencil and they don't call him Mulligan McGregor for nothing. It's not often you see a world-class sumo wrestler on the golf course, but Tsunami Moto is an exception. This big fella has the rare combination of awesome power and a magnificent touch. Though he was kicked off the sumo tour for repeatedly failing to show up at events and wearing an undersized thong, he doesn't seem to mind very much. He's made it clear that golf is his game of choice. An outstanding junior golfer, Kelly was constantly pulled away from her teammates moving from town to town at the mercy of her father's successful career as a rodeo clown. Mr. Newman has since retired from the rodeo, but now pours every ounce of his being into Kelly's golf career, relentlessly driving her to be the greatest golfer in the history of the game. Kelly loves her dad, but wishes he would ease up a little, you know? Let's just say that Val Summers has a temper and she knows how to use it. Or, as some of her rivals would say, she knows how to lose it. Hey, even I have to admit that she's a pretty good golfer, especially for someone as pampered as she's been. Let the facts speak for themselves. This Beverly Hills daughter of the famous Hollywood producer has a very good golf game. Big Mo is a golfer who knows how to get the most power possible out of every swing. The story goes something like this. After losing his family at a very young age, Moa focused all of his energy into one thing, learning to crush small things with big sticks. Now he's turned that energy into a relentless competitiveness on the golf course. Stand back when this big guy steps up to the tee. Yosh, an alumnus of UC Berkeley, didn't take up golf seriously until he had earned his master's in mathematics. He is now a tireless student of the game and spends countless hours on the links refining his approach from any and every possible angle. He prides himself on knowing what club to use from any lie, from any distance, on any hole, and he has no life. Even when he's 60 yards from the green, Yosh thinks he can hold it, and he's often right. Erica is serious about her golf, so serious in fact that she listed golf as her hobby when she ran for Miss Norway a few years ago. She's got a powerful swing and a masterful touch with the putter. With all her skills, it's commonly known that Erica's greatest asset is her mental game. Her very presence on the course can totally psych out the competition. Is Tiger Woods the greatest golfer of all time? Tiger's won eight major championships. 
and after his 2001 Masters Triumph, he became the first man ever to hold all four modern majors at the same time. He became the fastest player ever to win 30 PGA Tour events when he captured the Bay Hill Invitational in 2002, and he's held the number one spot in the world ranking since 1999, the longest reign at the top of the world list in golf history. And just think, he's only 27 years old. Stuart Appleby honed his golfing skills by hitting balls from paddock to paddock as a young boy in a dairy farm in Kahuna, Australia. All that work has paid off with three PGA Tour wins, most recently at the 1999 Shell Houston Open. Appleby tied for second in the 2002 British Open. He now lives in Orlando, Florida with his wife Ashley. Rich Beam was nominated for Rookie of the Year honours after earning his first PGA Tour victory at the Kemper Open in only his 12th start on tour. Beam defeated Tiger Woods by one stroke to win the PGA Championship in 2002, his third victory. Beam ultimately finished seventh on the 2002 money list with earnings of nearly $3 million. Rich lives in El Paso, Texas with his wife Sarah. Nota Begay has won four tournaments, including back-to-back -back titles in the summer of 2000, the FedEx St. Jude Classic in Memphis, and the Canon Greater Hartford Open. Nota was a three-time All-American selection and a teammate of Tiger Woods at Stanford University. He shot the lowest round in Buy.com tournament history with an amazing 59, and he played on the victorious U.S. President's Cup team in the year 2000. John Daly exploded onto the golf scene, coming from nowhere to win the 91 PGA Championship. Daly's known as the longest driver on the PGA Tour and won his 11th driving distance crown with a record mark of 306.8 yards, topping his own 2001 mark of 306.7. He lives in Rogers, Arkansas with his wife Sherry and his three children. Since joining the Tour in 1993, Jim Furyk has been one of its most consistent performers. Jim has won seven PGA Tour events and has won at least one tour event each season since 1998. His favorite town seems to be Las Vegas, where he has won the Las Vegas Invitational three times. He's an avid follower of the Pittsburgh Steelers and he and his wife Tabitha live in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. Regarded as one of South Africa's brightest young prospects, Retief Kusen became the fourth PGA Tour rookie to earn over $1 million in his first season. Gusson went on to win the U.S. Open in his 38th start on the tour to become the eighth player in the last 50 years to make the U.S. Open their first tour title. Retief picked up another victory at the 2002 Bell South Classic and he calls Petersburg, South Africa and Sunning Hill, England his home. Charles Howell III stormed onto the professional golf scene in 2001 by winning Rookie of the Year honours and becoming the fifth first-year player to win $1 million in his first season on tour. Howell now holds the record as the player with the most money won in his first two seasons on tour. He lives in Orlando, Florida with his wife Heather. Justin Leonard is a seven-time winner in the PGA Tour and he won his first major in 1997, capturing the British Open at Royal Troon. 2002 was a strong year for Justin. A victory at the WorldCom Classic, top 20 finishes at all four majors, and seven overall top 10 PGA Tour finishes. Justin and his wife Amanda live in Dallas, Texas. With 26 career European titles under his belt, Colin Montgomery has proven himself as one of the world's elite golfers. He's been named European Tour Player of the Year four times and finished as the top money winner in the Order of Merit a record seven consecutive years between 93 and 99. He currently resides in Surrey in the United Kingdom with his wife Emer and their three children. Jesper Parnovic is a five-time winner on tour and one of the most recognizable players in golf. He has earned more than $1 million in each of the last five straight seasons. A veteran of three Ryder Cup teams, he enjoyed his finest season in 2000, winning twice and finishing the year ranked eighth on the PGA Tour money list. Born in Sweden, Jesper now lives in Jupiter, Florida with his wife Mia and their four children. Justin Rose finally delivered the huge potential which first became apparent in the 1998 British Open Championship by capturing two championships in 2002, one in Johannesburg, the city of his birth. Justin first broke 70 for the first time at age 11 and had a handicap of plus three at age 14. And then he took the world by storm in 1998, chipping in at the last tie for fourth in the Open Championship at Royal Birkdale. 
one of the young guns from Australia expected to challenge top professionals in coming years. He won the Scottish PGA Championship in 2002 by a record-breaking 10 shots. Scott is fifth on the European Tour in driving distance. In his first 16 European Tour events, Scott compiled a record of five top tens, including three third-place finishes. BJ Singh is a 10-time PGA Tour winner and won his first major title in 1998, capturing the PGA Championship at Sahali Country Club. He followed that up with a win at the Masters in the spring of 2000. A tireless worker, BJ will often be seen late into the evenings pounding ball after ball in the driving range. A native of Fiji, BJ now makes his home in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. Ty Tryon became the youngest player ever to qualify for the PGA Tour, earning his tour card at the age of 17 by finishing in a tie for 23rd at the PGA Tour Qualifying School in 2001. Born William Tryon, he was nicknamed Ty by his father Bill after the Caddyshack character Ty Webb, made famous by Chevy Chase. He has two younger brothers and a sister, and he lives in Orlando, Florida.